Hello guys, I decided to uh, do a video on the infamous Atari 800XL that was um, given to me by my uncle and my dad that they had when I was young. As you can see, I got the whole kit and caboodle. I got 800XL with games, controller, 5-inch um, floppy disk drive, and some disks. don't have everything out here. Um, and the Atari 1027 um, monotype printer, which, as far as I know, it works. I haven't quite figured out how to use it yet. Um, but, um, yeah, let's turn this on. I'll boot the Atari um, Basic. And, uh... See the power light comes on, and uh, as you can see, we're ready. So let's uh, test something with the Atari Basic. Oops, hold on. I forgot the quotes. So that makes me happy. Um, as you can see, that it's working. Um, we're going to play Centipede. Now, I have other games, but I like this one. So, not all of them work. So, I'm just going to reset this. Centipede, copyright 1992. And this is interesting, you actually press start on the Hard to play with one hand. But you get the idea. Yeah, it's really hard to play with only one hand. The controller, I don't know. It's had been used in like forever. But it's kind of stiff. So it's really hard to play with only one hand, but uh, it's enough that you can get the idea. Um, this is actually a pretty solid system. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show it off. So there we have it, Infamous. 800 XL with our Indinus Indus GT 5.25 inch floppy disk drive. And this actually doesn't go to it. This actually goes to a Apple II. Um, I have a couple of discs that just have a bunch of crap on them, but it's still a five. Point five inch floppy disk that I collected, and I couldn't find my others. My room's a mess. And this is the printer. If I plug it in, it will turn on. But I have no idea. It's out of ink. It's out of its type. I think it fell apart. It so it doesn't print. But the motors wind up, so I'm sure it would if I had necessary. Um, print and stuff for it. Um, as far as I know, this works. Still, after like 30 years. So, you can take a look at the back of it. The, take a look at the back of it. Floppy drive. I have nothing that I don't know how to access it. I'm guessing that I need some software. Unless 
I can access it perhaps from the basic prompt. I don't know enough about basic to actually tell you. Um, I do know that I can turn it to drive mode 1 by pressing both of these arrows up. And whenever I turn the Atari on, it will try to boot off of it. But I have no bootable disks. So, there's no way. So, that's as far as I know it works. Now I'm going to look at the Atari now. Just the highlight. Here we have two um, COM serial ports for the controllers. Sorry, I'm a little loose with one hand. Parallel port where the, both the floppy and the printer connect to. Our parallel bus, which is an expansion slot. Our uh, monitor out. And our switch box out, which is to the television. How we change our channels 1 and 2, and 2 and 3. And the power and power switch. So, all this is working. And, um, really, it's no wonder older people think that typing gives you arthritis. Because this keyboard, I, you can, it's stiff, it's firm, it's rigid. Um, I don't know if it was like that whenever I, it was made. But, if it was, yeah, I could definitely see having finger issues from typing on it a lot. You can see the keyboard itself. It's different from um, today's keyboards. We actually have the shift under the control. Um, this was where normally the caps lock would be. And the shift would be there, I think, yeah. Mainly same QWERTY the keyboard layout. Arrow keys, I guess. Up, down, left, right. Um, I think you, according to the manual, you hold control and use the arrow keys. Or else you're just putting in um, asterisk, uh, plus divide things and stuff. And here's the capsule key. And the return key, the enter key, is all the way up here. Um, then we have the backspace and break key. So it's different. <laughs> Definitely not like uh, today's standard computers, but, um, yep, it, uh, it's ready. <laughs>